Okay, this is Blake Rat. We're going to play a game called Black Rose. This is one of those games that is 100% free on Steam. You can download it for free and play it. And uh, it has a start button. So let's click that. Oh my god, attention. Here's things this game contains. Fla oh, I... Uh, okay, I hadn't finished reading that. Um, it also contains extraordinarily slow or small font sizes, as you can see. Uh, the play button is roughly font size eight on a 1080p screen, and the uh, the fun part is that if you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching it at 720p. So you can actually, well, actually over the stream too. So you actually can't see shit. But just trust me on this. The topmost button is labeled play. Let's go ahead and click it. Uh, do I want timed mode or story mode? Um, Okay, in timed mode, you are being timed on how quickly you finish the game. Your final score will be based on your close calls. Um, why you do, Why do you get scored on a horror game? Okay, I'll do story mode. I don't get it, but whatever. Uh, hopefully I can use my controller. It is, uh, it is a Unity game. Okay, so this is Black Rose. Uh, unlike... Oh... Like most horror games, you can't just immediately leave the house when you spawn in for some reason, even though that's really what you want to do. Because the whole concept of horror games is that you go into a really scary situation, but instead of leaving, you just go further into the scary situation. I can't wait to see some of those flashing lights. That'll be, uh, that'll be great when they come. Uh, let's, oh, I have a run key. That's actually very nice because <laughs> this guy walks painfully slow. Like, again, like in all horror games, you walk painfully slow. Um, oh, is someone else here? Continue. Okay, so my character, what, wait, what kind of house has a stairwell here and then a stairwell going down here? What, who designed this house? What the fuck? Is this procedure, oh, door is warped pretty bad. I don't think I'll be able to get it open. Okay, let's continue. Uh, I think this is a procedurally generated house because no actual house, even, even a horrible game designer would not design a house with two stairwells that are like 10 feet apart. Okay, there's a big empty room. It's empty. Um, that was fun. Those are the best kind of rooms when you find the empty rooms. Is this another stairwell? Oh, no. Yes, it is. There are three stairwells within 20 feet. This house is not efficiently laid out, to say uh, to say the least. Um, also, this paneling is, is pretty awful. I do not like the paneling. Uh, I'm gonna, let's play a game of Criticize This House. It's a horror game. In the game, you criticize a house. Uh, boss says not to go near Myrtle's coffin. Uh, why won't the gravedigger bury it anyway? It's not like what boss says is true. I mean, the dead can't really talk, can they? And the answer is no, but I'm pretty sure there's actually yet another stairwell here. Oh, no, there actually isn't. It's just this area. Okay. Uh, the door is jammed. I might be able to force it open. I would need to ram it a couple times. Press and hold space, but what if I'm, what if I'm using a controller? What is space on the controller? Oh, right trigger. Right trigger is space. If you're using a controller, just keep in mind that right trigger is space. And we are ramming the hell out of this door. Oh, look at that. It opened. Okay, great. I'm good at the games. There's a baby monitor. Okay, so I have a baby monitor. I don't know why that's necessarily strange, but. Oh, can I ram this door? No, this door is unrammable. It cannot be rammed. So as you can see here, the house is floating in a black void. There's literally nothing outside the house at all. Um, it's the void house. I think I saw an episode of Twilight Zone that had a void house. So this is kind of like that, except for significantly worse. Uh, I don't know if you guys are scared yet. Oh no. Uh, so someone on the baby monitor said downstairs in a creepy voice. I guess it was our baby. Our baby said downstairs. Wah! Wah! Downstairs! Wah! That's how it worked. Oh my god, restricted area authorized. Wait, if you owned a house, even if you had a locked door that you didn't want to go people... If you owned a house, okay, hey, man, let me try to get my tongue in order before I say that sentence. If you own a house, even if you did have a locked room you don't want people going to, why would you deface your own house by sticking one of those horrible stickers on it? Uh, oh, wait, pain and suffering has warped their bodies. Okay, I want to enter the code. It's 666. 
Um, okay, I don't have the code, so I can't enter the code. But just keep in mind that pain and suffering has warped their bodies. That probably will be important later. Maybe. Downstairs. Okay, here's another interestingly designed room. What do you think this little nook is for? Um, it's just the, the space-wasting nook. Visitation room. Oh, is this a sanitarium? Oh, I guess they were pretty serious about keeping... Oh, good, I get a hunt for keys. That's my favorite gameplay mechanic is to hunt for keys. I want to... Can I... Is there a duck? I want a duck. Can I duck? Hmm. There doesn't appear to be a duck button. Okay, so I can't duck. I want to crawl into the fireplace. I want to crawl right in there. That, that sounds like something that would be fun to do. Um. Oh no, there's a dungeon below the house somehow. How did they... How did they... Okay, whatever. Uh... So the house has a dungeon, and I'm sure something scary is going to happen any moment now, and, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I'll probably jump if it's a jump scare or flashing lights like that warning said. I will probably jump, but I will not be genuinely scared because uh, these games are not actually scary. What they do is they just distract you and make you jump. Her eyes! Don't look her in the eyes! Why? Uh, why? Why don't? Why not? Why don't? Why don't? Why don't do that? Why don't do that? I don't know. Um, I've only had about... Oh, hey, here's the coffin. Oh, the other baby monitor's down here. Sorry, I can move my mouse out of the middle of the monitor. Then. It's very inconsiderate of me. Uh, this is weird. I'm not sure I want to be down here anymore. Something feels wrong. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe I can't move my mouse out of there. I, I can't... Oh, weird. It has... It seems to not understand the concept of using a game controller. Okay, well anyway, I found the coffin. That's the coffin that the gravedigger won't bury for some reason. I'm not supposed to look her in the eyes. That's a thing. Uh, there's plenty of... Well, maybe there is. There's plenty of basement here to explore still, but it looks like it's all kind of weirdly designed dead ends, so maybe there isn't. So, suddenly the baby monitor's gonna spring to life and it's gonna say, Oops! I actually meant upstairs! I hope I didn't... Wow. Yeah, I kind of called that, didn't I? Um, okay, so the coffin is saying, don't go, stay here with me, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, no! Uh, what's going on? I don't know. Suddenly, you stopped moving, and then the flashlight got flickery. And now there's a buzzing. Okay, uh, did that scare you guys? Is that scary? I hope you were scared properly. Because that is, in fact, the scariest thing you will ever see in your life. Uh, okay, um... So I'm so terrified, I don't know if I can keep playing this. That door wasn't locked earlier. Wow, it's almost as if the door got locked when it wasn't earlier. Is that the same note as earlier? Oh, I can't pick up that note anymore somehow. So there's a room down here I didn't find. It's like a theater with like a hundred chairs lined up. But I don't think I know how to get down in that room. Oh my god. This is the most terrifying thing you've ever seen. A cork board. Da da da. Cork board. Anyway. Um, what is the thing I'm supposed to be doing right now? I don't know. Okay, well. I don't think there's anything else here. I think that's actually, honestly, the extent of the top floor. This is the door that's locked that wasn't earlier. I don't think I went down... Oh, family room. Let's go to the family room. Oh, I can't... The door won't open, but it won't give me a reason why it won't open. It just won't open. Whatever. So let's go down here. Oh, this is the... Ch oh, that's the chapel that I was looking at. Oh, no. Oh, so scary. You guys scared? Okay, so how, somehow that ended my game. Um, I'm really not sure how, but that was the end of the game. And I spawn. Oh, at the very beginning of the game. Okay, well that's that's a shitty game. That is called Black Rose, and it's scary because there's 
Uh, a poorly 3D animated girl with glowing eyes. So if you're scared of poorly 3D animated girls with glowing eyes, this game will terrify the shit out of you. And you probably shouldn't play in a darkened room or if you are taking heart medication. But yeah, there you go. That's Black Rose. Uh, the end.